Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I made my wedding invitations. I purchased pretty much everything through the site Cards and Pockets and this is the big package that I received. I'll have everything listed down below of what I purchased and what quantities. I think we had roughly about 60 or so invitations but I just ordered extra of everything just in case. I went with the theme of the rustic brown with the cream and pink polka dots and you'll see how I transform this box into my invitations. So these are the belly bands. I did cut them myself with a guillotine. This is the main face of the invites which I designed myself just in Word and made a PDF and then printed to the cardboard. I also did the same with the information packs uh, such as the venue, little details. And RSVP cards. These are the little trimming of the invites that I cut up myself as well, just with the big sheets of the paper. And I had a lot of PVA craft glue. These little eyelet studs, an eyelet setter. And then I had some hole punches. This is one and one quarter inch. I also had a one and one half inch, and then I had a one inch as well. I had a mini seal stamper thing. I don't know what you call it. I also managed to find some twine rope stuff as well. So now I'm going to show you how to make the template. I'm going to use some glue. If I had my time again, I would have used a different glue. The girl in the craft department said that this wouldn't make my cardboard or paper bend, but it did. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to place some glue on the very top edge of the cardboard and then place a strip down. Then I'm going to flip it over and stick the other edges down. And then I'm going to repeat on the other side. And there is the trimming done for the main invitation. Next up, I'm going to glue the main panel down onto this panel. I'm going to start with a cross in the middle and then in each corner of the main invitation, I'm also going to place some glue. I just want it to be really well stuck down. And make sure you're really a perfectionist with this. You definitely want it centered. Once that's down, you want to push a little bit hard and make sure it's all set. Now we are going to glue it into the pocket, I guess you would call this. <laughs> so you want to fold your pockets as they do come flat and then you'll place it in there and place some glue on the back. So I put a big cross in the middle and then again on the corners, I put some glue. And then kind of all over. Then again, you want to just glue that into the middle part and that is the main part of the invitation nut. So now onto the pocket information. I have a gift registry card, the venue, little details and an RSVP card with an RSVP envelope. So the RSVP envelope was stamped and addressed back to us so that they had no excuses of returning the RSVP. We definitely wanted them back. Just an FYI, it doesn't always work. <laughs> So now I'm going to stack everything all together nice and neatly and place the RSVP envelope in its place. And then I'm going to pop all the information into the little pocket. Now I'm going to create a little decoration, I'd say. You don't have to do this, but I just found it was really cute. I'm going to use the smallest and the largest hole punch and cut some holes in the rustic brown colored paper. 
Then I'm going to use the middle sized hole punch to cut some circles out of the polka dot paper. So you want three circles stacked up like this. Now this was the most time consuming part. I'm going to cut holes in the paper with the eyelet setter and then I'm going to put the eyelets in. It takes some time and practice and you're going to stuff up a few, but pretty much you just need usually one hole punch down on the paper and then two hole punches down on the eyelet setter. This one I did three and it ended up a little bit squished, but if you do two it should be fine. You have to experiment a little bit with pressure on this one. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to put some information on the little circles. So I have this little contraption here and I'm going to use the lowercase letters to create names and also love hearts. So I'm going to insert some clear tape And then I'm going to punch some love hearts into the tape. And then I'm going to peel it back and then cut off sections in three lots of love hearts. With those love hearts, I'm going to stick them onto the smallest circle. And I didn't film the next part, but I'm just going to make everyone's names and cut them up and stick them onto the bigger one. I was going to have the date on the middle one, but it looked a bit funny on the polka dot paper, so I just left it blank. Now I'm going to show you how to make the belly bands. So I made a template out of cardboard and then I just folded the belly band around the template, making sure that it was straight and everything lined up. So I'm going to press the sides together to make sure that it's nice and bent. And then I'm going to glue it down with some of the glue. Press it to make sure it's secure and lined up. And then slide it off the template and then it is ready to slide onto the invitations. Well, you might want to let it dry a little bit first. Next up, I'm going to take some string. I cut mine into about a meter, I think. And then you're going to thread it through your little circles. You want to secure them about maybe a quarter of the way and then tie them in. Then you will wrap the string around the belly band. I wrapped mine twice around and then tied a knot and a bow and then just double secured the bow as well because you don't want them coming off. Then I'm just going to trim the ends so that they match. And now I'm going to get into putting the envelope liner in the envelope. So you just want to slide it in there, make sure it's all lined up. So you want to fold it over and then put some glue just on um, the sides, on the edges. Then you want to push it up against the edge of the envelope and fold it back and press down. I think that this adds such a cute touch to the invites as well. So pop in your invitations. I did find it best if you switched it around the other side, but I don't have footage of that, sorry. Then what I did is I glued down the invitations because I didn't think my spit would actually hold it. Then I'm going to pop some sealing wax on the ends and use my mini seal. I just picked this up from eBay. I'll leave a link down below if I can find it. Now I had some cold water on hand because the mini seal can get quite hot. So you want to use a hot glue gun and place some on the tip. Don't place too much. Press down with the mini seal or whatever seal you have. You want to leave it on there for a few seconds and then you'll dip it back in the water just to cool it down for the next one. And there you have it. Your envelope is all beautifully sealed. And then put a stamp on and you're ready to send out your invites.
So I hope you enjoyed watching me make my wedding invites. I had so much fun creating it and I'm glad that I filmed them even though my wedding was over a year ago. I finally got this out to you guys. I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye! Okay, I don't want to get my lipstick on this, so I'm not going to handle this too much. But this is one of these winter, not winter, um, like blanket coats. Like it has the thing that you'll be able to see it on. 